Hello everyone, a short update on yesterday's drone attack at Engels Air Base. I covered the initial attack in a video yesterday. Now satellite images have been shared online by MT Anderson showing the base after the attack. They show no signs of damage and no destroyed aircraft. At the time, between 3 to 5 explosions were heard at the base during the strike. This first image shows an overview of the base itself. Presents in total are one Il-76 transport aircraft, three 2160 supersonic bombers, and six 295 bears. And this image is a zoomed in one on each section of the base and each aircraft. Also visible now that the snow has melted is the presence of painted decoy 2160s and decoy painted 295 bears. Pretty obvious decoys really on this satellite image. But who knows if they actually do resemble legitimate aircraft from drone footage or not. Also of note here, you can see a couple of the 216s are covered with tyres for protection against drones. So, no signs of damage are seen. So it's looking like the explosions that we heard during last night's video were either impacts that missed the target or successful interceptions detonating the drones in mid-air. Is over 600 kilometers to the front lines. I expect we will see this base targeted again by Ukraine, as it's clearly within range of drones. It's home to the 121st Guards Heavy Bomber Aviation Regiment and the 184th Heavy Bomber Aviation Regiment, both of whom have attacked Ukraine during the war. So this would be an excellent base to strike. So that's it for this video. Hope you found it interesting. Now before I finish, I'm going to play a video from the Ukraine Volunteer Center about the ongoing fundraiser with them. Thanks so much to everybody who's donated so far, and take care everybody. Good afternoon, greetings from the Ukrainian Volunteer Center. My name is Mitro, I'm a head of the fund. Uh, friends, we are at the finish line, and only $4,000 left raised for a car of our soldiers. Let's come together and help our heroes. Every donation is important for us. With love, from Ukraine.